Hello, Russell Broadman here, member for Monash. Apparently Australia's GDP suffered a cumulative loss of around $158 billion in the COVID pandemic. What about the cost of human suffering and trauma that so many Australians endured? Highly respected Human Rights Commissioner Lorraine Finlay recently said, the true cost of the COVID-19 pandemic is almost impossible to measure and the broader human cost of the pandemic, such as families being separated by border closures and lockdowns, Australians being unable to return home from overseas, and schools being closed, was substantial. Even now, professional Victorian firefighters are still not allowed back to work if they're not jabbed. The human cost of decisions made by all levels of government continues to mount, and we will be paying the price for decades. But let me be clear, it's the inhuman decisions made by state and territory governments that traumatised families and violated their human rights. The stress and pressure put on parents with young children was unbearable. It was cruel and it was unnecessary. Remember the families holed up inside their homes for 23 hours a day with local playgrounds fenced off? The unconscionable no jab, no mandates where thousands of people lost their jobs and then their homes. Primary school children forced to wear masks at school. And parents being told to vaccinate their child to protect grandparents. When have we ever subject children to vaccination for anything other than for their own protection and well-being? I'll never forget the gut-wrenching stories of Nicole, a young birthing mum who was forced to wear a mask during labour. And a young couple, Mo and Sarah, who were prevented from seeing their newborn baby for a week after his emergency birth, even though they tested negative for COVID-19 and were fully vaccinated. It's barbaric decisions like these, which states and territories must be held account for. I agree with Ms Finley's assertion that a Royal Commission should be the preferred option. But for me, it's the only option if we are to heal and understand why the human rights of Australians were so quickly and easily abandoned. That's justice as I see it. Authorised by Russell Broadbent, Liberal Party, Warragul.